Is it me or is that gate getting slower over the years? <laughs> <laughs> well, Barrett, the bees are taking a back seat today. Oh well. As part of my pledge, they have to share the range now. Moderation is the key to life. Moderation. <laughs> well, we weren't moderating our bee time. Yeah. We got like 60 something visits videos so the planking range is free that's cool you know what we're gonna do what we're gonna shoot our fancy targets that's our good guns and gearfits.com targets you can download these <laughs> online at guns and gearfits.com anyway what I've done and I can't talk still got the crud man we're going to shoot the Ruger 1022 at this one, the Keystone Sporting Arms 722 at that one. This is going to be where we shoot the H&R 922. It's got a bigger area to shoot. And the Henry AR7 and the Cricket. So what we're going to do is shoot all five of those and we're going to find out which one is most accurate for, for you. Okay. Which one you like better and which one you feel more comfortable with, you know, taking into the woods or maybe even thinking about a survival situation or something like that. Hmm. That's good. We're not trying to set, you know, re world records here. We're just trying to <laughs> get it out there far enough to where it's not too close. I want to be able to zoom in with this camera and see the shots. So what are we using? The Federal Auto Match. What are these 38 grains or 40 grain? Yeah, 40 grain. 1200 feet per second. I just found that on the shelves this morning. <laughs> Funny. We had a whole ammo can of 22, but this turned out to be pretty convenient. So, Barrett, I have put these in the order that I think accuracy ah. reigns. So obviously I'm starting off with, <laughs> with the H&R 922. Then I'm going to the crazy Henry AR7. Then we got our Cricket. And then we have our Ruger 1022 with the M1 stock set. That's pretty cool. And the Keystone Sporting Arms KSA uh, model 722 which I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to put through that one inch circle that I made for it. It's pretty accurate. Okay Barrett, so we had a little trouble with the Henry AR7 so I'm going to shoot at the bottom corner I can't see where she's hitting on paper down there. Well, that's all I'm going to do out of this thing. I don't want to get, I need to figure out what's going on with it. Well, I mean, you're going to shoot it, but let's see if we can zoom in and see what's going on down there. Well, that was my Henry AR7. <laughs> So get me the, what's next, our cricket. All right, Barrett, we got our little cricket, my little walnut cricket. This is my own personal cricket. I love this little thing. Obviously not that, well, the sights keep it from being perfect, you know, terribly accurate, but we'll see uh, what we can do with it.
Did I hit it? Huh. What'd it look like? I can't see. We had kind of uh, played around with the, a target below. Let me go back to that lower target, Barrett. Right. That's pretty accurate. That was almost. I wonder why. I must not. I just. I must not be able. To. We should have put. I should have put. Uh, Yeah. You can always go back and see the result. You know? Yeah. Well, I want to at least be on paper. Dang. Yeah. I, I'll shoot one more. How many was that? Four? Uh, yeah, I guess. We were going to shoot five of each. Okay. We're, that's the top left hand corner, top left hand target, right? Yeah, it is. All right, let's see if I can do any good here. I don't want to lean that on my magazine. That's just too much like fun. <laughs> <laughs> we got some sporting clays out there on the ground. We're going to take care of it in a minute. Well, let me just get rid of this round in the chamber. <laughs> so now we have the Keystone Sporting Arms 722. I actually helped uh, Steve McNeil and the guys debug this rifle when they were building it. Wow. And. Uh, at first they had like 3D printed magazines and that kind of thing and a few little issues with, it was a little loose in the bolt handle, but now, this, I'm telling you, this is a tack driver now, baby. And if I don't put all these in that little hole, then it's not the gun's fault. Where am I shooting? We'll just shoot all seven rounds of this one. My fault. I accidentally put it on a safe when I pull the boat, when I pull my hand back. Now I'm not actually, I'm not actually trying, you know, like I'm shooting the eye out of a squirrel or anything. I'm just aiming and pulling the trigger. Right? I'm not like competition shooting or anything. I haven't been counting, man. That's it. So Barrett, now we have our H&R 922 high-powered revolver. <laughs> and all we're shooting is the Super Calibri, the powder dose. So we use this for our, our backyard fun. But for the fun of it, Barrett, we know we got to shoot way up here. When we were test firing it earlier, we were having to shoot way up here mm -hmm. just to get in the middle. So that's what I'm going to do now. And it is a double action, so you're going to have to... What you're going to, have to do, baby, is just squeeze slowly and keep your concentration level. Some of those rounds won't go off. There you 
that trigger is probably 20 pounds. <laughs> you see, when I pull it, I'm having, it's almost like I'm shaking, but it's like, and it, for some reason, yeah, it'll stay back. I was going to say, sometimes it won't, the hammer won't stay back. See? Uh-huh. Oh, now I messed up my... All right, that's, that's enough of that mess. <laughs> it's funny because I didn't expect to even hit the paper with that. The sights on the Henry are so bad. The Cricket, I'm surprised... Where was I hitting? If I wasn't hitting, I got one, two. Huh. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> was I shooting at yours once? Nah, I'm sure you were trying to go for this guy or something. No, you know what I probably did? I probably accidentally shot the cricket here a couple of times. I'll have to look at the video. I'll yeah. tell you right here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you can see just uh, the KSA did well. I mean, I was just really, I'm not trying here that well, that much. I'm just trying to, you know, if you're out in the woods and you're shooting at a squirrel, you're gonna be relatively trying to, you know, shoot pretty fast. And also, you're not gonna have a prop. So pretty good there. I feel pretty good about that. Did that just fire once for you? I don't know, maybe. It might be the magazine. Oh, you have to do it again. Barrett, it's a good thing that thing will float because I'm going to throw it in the river on the way home. <laughs> oh, so no. now Barrett has the cricket. Let's see how he can do with it. Maybe your skinny little fingers can get them in there. That camera's still running, right? Okay. Can you see where you hit? Yeah. Okay, we ain't sniping uh, Big Kong, so just go ahead and rip off five rounds. Pretend like you. Huh, that's pretty close, actually. Pretend like the zombies are chasing you. Yeah, but I want to be accurate. Accurate. What's the point if you're not accurate? No, I know, but but nobody in real life, if you're in, you know, nobody gets, you know, 30 seconds to prepare if a zombie's coming after them, right? Yeah. You got to load that sucker, pull that thing back, aim and fire. All right. That's what this is about. It's not about rail gun shooting. <laughs> you should have seen the hoss, man. Remember when Hoss was here and he was drilling the pink cricket? Uh-huh. How many is that? Uh, like four. Okay, you feel comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Ah, 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 semi-auto. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Oh man, I was shooting the wrong one, like you did. You were shooting at my target? Yeah. What? Take five shots at your target. Slow down. I thought you said you were zombie shooting. Hey, if it's automatic, <laughs> Semi automatic. It's going to happen to accuracy, Mr. Accuracy. Hey, I'm accurate. Yeah. I had a group going. <laughs> That's why you ought to <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Remember the video I did? What a Ruger 1024? Uh huh. That's what it's for. You having fun? <laughs> all right, don't shoot all my ammo. You're target, dang it. That's <laughs> funny. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, so Barrett, here's the most accurate gun. It's just right. requires an accurate person shooting it. Are you, where are you holding that? Are you holding it right at the top of the little, or are you putting it in the groove? In the groove. The, just keep it in the same spot all the time. Don't change. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's bolt action. Right back. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one should be, ah, should be pretty close on that one.
One more. Ah. There we go. Sometimes you'll get a lead nose on these lead oh, nose yeah. bullets. Sometimes you'll get one that's like cockeyed a little bit. And they don't want to feed too terribly well. We know the winners. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we know the winners. Hmm. Well, Barry, you did better than I did. But the bit. look, that's a great. Now that see that that was the round that was already there. So you did good job. You did a good job. And that was my group, and then I changed my point of reference. See, I was trying to explain to Barrett about not changing your point of reference because now look at your group. It doesn't matter where your group is. You just don't don't yeah, change your point of reference. Now uh, you did really good with the cricket. That was the round that was already there. You know what? I, you know what I want to do? I'm gonna shoot that right there. You did. Uh, you did better with the Henry than I did too. What are you doing? You got better eyes or something? Well, Barrett, that was fun. It was. Uh, so, my in my opinion, <laughs> the H&R uh, 922 is accurate to about nine feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Cricket's pretty good. I mean, the the sights are a little, you know, it's it's made for a child, right? The sights are a little bit. Um, you kind of kind of get used to that peep sight in the back and the, the blade in the front or that post. Mm -hmm. But it was pretty accurate, wasn't it, for for, a little for what it is? And the Ruger 1022. What can you say? It's killer. Killer. And then of course, obviously, the most accurate is the KSA, the Keystone Sporting Arms uh, 722. Now I've seen people, you know, uh, connect holes with that thing. So. Uh -huh. It's very accurate. I just, uh, first of all, we forgot the prop. Yeah. <laughs> We're, and, you know, I, here I am. I'm just trying to have fun. So, I'm, you know, if I was trying to test the rifle, I would slow down and have the proper, you know, rest. Uh, yeah. All that stuff. But we're just here to have fun. Definitely. And really, that's the way I like to test these things because, you know, if I'm going to go into the woods with a rifle, uh, you know, I want to see how it's going to act if I'm just kind of roughhousing with it, you know. So, what do you think? Oh, I'm thinking that Henry uh, AR7, I don't know what's wrong with that thing. Uh, the, it's pretty the, rough. Anyway, what do you think? Which was your favorite? Uh, either the 1022 or the SK. The 722? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think those are my two favorite. Uh, obviously the bolt gun, the 722 is more accurate. The Ruger 1022, you know, it's going to be a lot more fun. Well, that's what I was talking about when I said 10. I, I know. I'm talking. I, I was just repeating what I said. Oh, okay. I was being repetitive. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it was fun uh, not having to worry about the bees for a day, wasn't it? Yeah. They're probably down there. Uh, uh, planning a mutiny. They're definitely probably fine. Uh, no, I I'm bet sure they're gone. They're I bet they're like, we're out of here, boys. We're out of here, girls. Uh, anyway, thanks, guys. <laughs>